DAR is a global multidisciplinary engineering consultancy. Our projects span the world. We work together with our clients to improve people's life by providing sustainable and resilient projects in an ever-changing and complex world. The Smart Bridge is an innovation in smart construction. It covers the use of manufacturing technologies like generative design, like 3D printing and robotic arm construction. The idea was to create a proof of concept for a two-meter bridge on a smaller scale, but that would be scaled up on a larger uh, project eventually in the future. We also used sustainable material. Uh, by that I mean uh, FRPs, fiber reinforced polymers, which are recycled and recyclable material. In addition to that, the bridge includes uh, structural health monitoring. Uh, by that I mean introducing sensors within the bridge that would really sense the structural performance of the built, built bridge against parameters and assumptions in the design uh, and for that throughout the construction and also uh, that would really help inform and improve future designs of bridges. The sensing data will then feed into a digital twin model of the bridge and that would help uh, monitor the performance of the structure against design assumptions but also improve uh, future designs and, and the process is really uh, relying on artificial intelligence. So it's a loop. We, 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 we test, we get the data, we improve future designs. Uh, this is not the first 3D printed bridge. A lot has been done in the industry. Uh, but what we're trying to create here and the innovation behind is basically the use of re recyclable and resilient and sustainable material, which is core in, in the project. Uh, and the other is really the evolutionary design methods that we're utilizing. So we're combining basically evolutionary design methods with the use of sustainable materials. The choice of material was basically uh, based on performance characteristics as well as sustainability. Uh, the priority was given to recycled and multi-recyclable materials. So eventually we build a bridge, then we can recycle the material a second, a third and fourth time to rebuild other type of structures. Three main factors would really render uh, this project uh, deeply sustainable. Primarily, it is the use of recycled and recyclable material, as I mentioned, uh, be it the FRP in this case. Uh, the other aspect that would make it also sustainable is the use of generative design. And as we know, generative design optimizes the use of material. So we, we put the minimum quantity material only where needed uh, against the conventional approach whereby more quantity of material is normally used. And the third aspect is 3D printing in itself. Uh, when we follow th a 3D printing or an additive manufacturing approach, uh, we don't use formwork and by that we save on the cost and time of executing a formwork uh, and also uh, we minimize or we eliminate the waste. Uh, all those three factors would render the project heavily sustainable and would reduce tremendously the amount of carbon footprint. Being a collaboration with Autodesk, uh, we obviously retained uh, the generative design feature of Fusion 360. Uh, basically, it provides a space uh, whereby we set parameters and constraints for uh, uh, structural performance as well as printability guidelines. Now, the generative design process, as we know, uh, would yield hundreds, sometimes thousands of solutions. And those solutions will have to be deliberated by the designer to select the ones uh, which produce the least quantity of material, provide the aesthetical requirement, uh, and, and the most sustainable ones. Uh, once this narrowing down has been done, a third-party analytical software is used uh, to refine, to optimize further the, the structural aspect of those solutions. And then finally, a detailed design stage uh, is reached. So this is really the, the, the cycle we went through from onset up to delivering the final uh, concept of the bridge. The smart bridge is a proof of concept in two stages. The first one is printing or building a two meter bridge, which as we speak has been completed. The next step of the proof of concept is to build a 5-meter span, which is a slightly larger span that would 
assist us in understanding better the process, refining it, and monitoring the performance of the five meter bridge over time, and probably testing a different type of polymers and material. The ultimate goal of the project is definitely to scale up the innovation and, and the process to even larger type of projects. And by that, I mean eventually on the long run, any, any type of large scale engineering project. Although globally, the engineering applications uh, in terms of 3D printing remain limited, uh, so far everyone knows that what has been achieved is limited to low-rise construction, some breakthroughs, but very limited in application. We strongly believe that 3D printing in AEC has a bright future and a great potential. Combining this uh, with the potential of artificial intelligence, generative design, and the use of recycled material is what motivates us and commits us to this project.